Good day, scraptologists. It's a nice mild day here and 11 degrees Celsius. The snow's all gone, thankfully. I'm starting the video here because it's leading up to something. I need some two by fours out of that pile way over there in the bushes over there. You probably see the edge of the lawn. Need the two by fours of that pile. And the plywood for the shop floor and workbench not here anymore. So I think well lucky that. That's the perfect size table for the shit for the shop right there. Put the laptop on, cup of coffee, sit there and chillax. Good. There's something else I can do. And since I'm heading that way anyways, I'll take it with me. Yeah, save some time. Hey buddy. Yes. Look out. Shield. <laughs> Can't get me, can you? Oh, rip, 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 rip. oh, yeah. Oh, that was nice. You bugger. Yeah. He's uh, <coughs> excitable as usual. So I did make a video the last couple of days. And uh, the last video I posted, that battery was dead in the GoPro when I went to... Uh, do the rest of it. That's why there was no proper ending on the last video. But the big news is down here. All right, that is down here for now. Uh, so if y'all remember, I've been trying to uh, get the shot, the shed turned into a shop for the last couple of weeks. Well, there she is lowered. It's lowered down probably about 10 inches to a foot, the front. is right now is level with the back that's sitting on the ground. Just the ground here is all uneven, it's not the uh, the building. So, I had a friend come up from St. John last night, and my son was home from school, he had day off on Friday. So, we came into work. And this, gotta screw that down, but there's the floorboards down. There we go. That's my uh, start of my setup. Got the four by sheet of plywood. I took five 55 gallon barrels. Oh goodness, don't know if you see or not. And put them like that. These are going up the edge more. Now I'm coming down this evening. And I'm going to frame it up with two by fours along the edges, of course. Frame it. And put two across for here to start this up. Where it's a, a thin board there, thin plywood. That's really good and stable. Taking the shelf out and uh, probably put it over in that wall there. So this is a uh, functioning as it is, but it's not very sturdy. I can do small stuff on it, and I got to put screws down through this little so flat note this evening. So that pile, I'll grab the two by fours front to do this tonight. Now they have lights and everything in the workspace. This has to be all cleaned out today because tonight I want to bring stuff and I'm going to break down and put it here. So I can work at night in here and all day tomorrow if it's raining. It'll be nice and dry and it's be all set up. So for all intents and purposes, we have ourselves a working shop. I got the uh, device over there in the top shelf. I'll get that, make a two by four frame here, just two by four like this. Well, there'll be one here and one here. I put a second one right here. So I'll make a square here to put the base on. So be a lot of wood to clamp it to, to hold it down to. And that should do for a while anyways. So the interesting story about this is my stepfather, God rest his soul, he collected scrap lumber. All right, that's what he did, that was his thing. He liked to build stuff in his garage and whatnot, so he collected scrap lumber of all kinds. So he passed away June 26th of this year, and uh, he built this shed for my mother. She's in a nursing home, and uh, I'm reusing her shop, her shed turning into a shop. 
and I'm using the scrap wood that my stepfather had around to build the furnishings in it and the shelving. And the barrels were scrap I picked up. The stool, yeah, you guess it, scrap I picked up. So what I'm trying to do with this video series and uh, with this adventure is to get everything I can free or cheap to build the infrastructure needed to make a good chunk of change doing scrap metal for a living full time. They are the duckies. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. There we go. I think you see them over there now. So beautiful ducks. But a lot of stuff is going outside. Uh, probably today or tomorrow. That corner, I'm getting that all outside. That's just metal. It's no good. I'm getting that outside. Get the two uh, kerosene heaters up and going. As I said in previous videos, there's no way I'm going to asphyxiate myself in here. So I'll put them both sides all the way across. So, and as you can tell, it's board sides and the tire paper tie back off it. And there's no siding on the outside. So you can see right through in places. <coughs> but yeah, it's uh, finally coming together. So what I'm going to do, I'm not getting into the video right now because as the day progresses and I get things done and into the night, I'm going to uh, tape it for you. Uh, I'm going to get that cleaned out this afternoon. I put that table together, put the rest of the bench together. I'll videotape all that and put it all up for you. So it's almost supper time here, but I'm going to come down and get all the plumber's brass separated because I can go right away. Then I'm going to take uh, buckets, garbage, garbage cans, basically. And what I got to do is I take them inside or do it out here, drill holes in the bottom. The reason being, is even if you have a cover for them, if a storm comes up in the winter time, that cover can blow away, get buried in the snow. Then you got a half a barrel full of uh, metals that's now going to fill up with snow, melt in the spring, and then you got a big bucket of ice. <laughs> then when the ice melts, you got a big bucket of rusted crap you gotta dig through. So I always drill holes in the bottom of my barrels. And that way I don't have to worry about water collecting inside of them. I don't even put a cover on them. So I'm going to drill some holes in these, put them alongside the building, sort this stuff over the next couple of days and put it in them. So this place be all cleaned up. So it's mild like this, so you can tear stuff apart outside, big stuff, and take the smaller, once it's broken down, take the small stuff inside to work on the bench. So we're about 95% there, because it's functional right now. I can start taking things in. I can take that, that microwave in or that in tonight, the microwave in, for example, and just tear that down because you get all kinds of lights in there and heat. This is quite heavy to move around, so we can do that outside. Um, but one thing I'm very curious about is, oh yeah, these are heavy too. Ah, what are in these? That's what I'm curious about. What is in them? So, that's probably going to be my first video for teardown, is going to be one of these, because I am so curious. And those things there are pretty basic, you see what's in them, because it's all exposed. <coughs> you got the, this is here too. Yeah, you probably have copper in there somewhere, probably in here. And in here, because there's wires going into it. I found anywhere there's wires going in or out of, there's usually copper on the other side, or something valuable. And the other thing I found a couple of nights ago that I'm interested in tearing apart is where in the world did I throw it? Oh, just, oh, is that it there? Yeah, that's it over here. Another thing I'm interested in finding bang, crash, boom. Oh, what's in it is this thing here. Very curious. Oops. A little too curious. I threw it off the truck there last night. We unloaded the truck. And yeah, you get a little too curious, I guess. Safety glass, anyways. 
So that's easy to take out. <laughs> so we're going to uh, tear that motor apart, tear that down. We're going to load up that with the rotors and the stove on the truck tomorrow, tomorrow evening. And whatever uh, bits of shred I get to take in off of the tear downs and whatever goodies I have. So, yeah, even the lights in the uh, the shop have been uh, found doing garbage pickups. And this set here, I'm going to wire up to put over top of my table when I put it in there. And, or somewhere. I'll find some place to put this up inside, maybe over the workbench. Depends on how bright those lights are and how much area it covers. Yeah, see here's one here. And you see the holes are drilled through it. Just punched holes through it. And the water stays in it. <laughs> so I'll be doing that with the rest of them. And this one here is gonna hold it there and hold it there. It's gonna be easy to do. Don't need to work on this one. It's a job saved, a job, uh, one less job I have to do there. So that's it for now, and I'll bring you back when I uh, start doing something that resembles work. <laughs> Till then, take care. Pretty. It gets dark quick, but isn't that a nice sight? Lights. Gonna get no side light and put it right up there. Gonna take it off the house. They replace the outside lights in the house shortly. Oh, bright light. And uh, it got dark so quick because on the phone, I didn't get a chance to come down and get this done. So it looks like this stool here has more than served its purpose. So it's going to be, I'll put it right there for tonight. Now, do a couple of things I'm talking. So what are the future plans? Well, now this for all intents and purposes is up and operational. I can go street shopping, straw hoop, <laughs> take 17, street scrapping. Because I can now take things apart no matter what the weather. Hmm. That's kind of an interesting clock. Yeah. I'm gonna take that house with me and see if I can get that working. So. Oh my goodness. What's in the box? Huh. We'll never know because there's no key for it. Shred. of this I wonder if that lampshade over there will fit on it I wonder if I can get over to it I already started making a mess I don't think it will though but we shall oh my goodness might just work hmm but I don't think the blood bubble will fit in there so eh, not gonna work there was a thought <coughs> so we'll uh, have things set up here probably tomorrow morning we won't have the uh, vice installed but and see, we get the table framed off, table at the top framed off, put up on it. Um, save these, these are a couple old can, eh, tobacco cans. They might be worth something someday. This is one of my uh, dumpster diving tools for heavy stuff that you want to get out. Oh, ain't that kind of cool? 
old coke set in there. But it's missing half the lids, but uh, I don't care. Set that there out of the way. Put down. A file we found on the floor in here. Something else to tear apart. I know this part is missing. Alrighty. Nothing's ever easy, is it? So, well, you know what? I just might be able to get that clock working. So, not gonna do anything down here tonight. We'll get up the house. And I took all the garbage bags out of the house the other day. The wife is not happy. I better take a couple back for her. So, I'll take this up and see if we can get that working. <coughs> We get the shelf settled up here before we get the middle of the shelf up there, and that'll be that. So yeah, future plans. We're going to uh, get the SUV. They have to adjust the linkage on it and oil it up a bit there, so some WD-40 or whatever. Get that going the first of the week, and we'll hook the trailer on it Tuesday, and we'll start street scrap, street scrap, ugh, street scrapping. Hard word to say. And dumpster diving on Tuesday. By then we'll have the vice on. Let's be all set up. And we'll be good to go. Start tearing stuff down here tomorrow. We just want you to put any heavy stuff on this. We'll just put light stuff on. Like those lights I showed the first part of the video. And uh, whatever else I can find. Microwave, no problem. So we'll tear the microwaves down and stuff like that. We'll cut the copper off of the uh, copper aluminum rads. Cut the ends off, them. Cut the, ends off the uh, aluminum rads. Clean them up. Just a little thing like that we'll do in here today, tomorrow. But it wasn't really a bus day. I got a lot accomplished outside the uh, outside the shop and outside the busking or scrapping. So it was a productive day, just uh, not producing scrap today, if that makes any sense. So get this cleaned up a bit more. Get all that stuff outside tomorrow, and. Uh, Sort through that stuff, see what I can put aside in the bins, and get as much of that stuff out of here as I can. And that should open this place right up tomorrow. Because we're going to want to start bringing stuff in and sending it over here to uh, tear down that stuff there. Those two shelves have to move over against this wall. Because I'm putting a table here that I'm building. Oh, it's outside. It's a bit bigger than that. Underneath that window in the front. So, yeah. It's coming together. By the end of next week, we'll uh, already be using this tomorrow, working in it. But I imagine by the end of uh, next week, we'll have our uh, table built in the corner there and have it starting to look a lot more presentable in here and cleaned out. But as it is right now, there is workable space. And uh, that's all that matters at the moment. Processing things we've got here in the yard, getting it out of there, moving stuff around, all that nice stuff. So, I hope you enjoyed the video today, and uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Hopefully, it'll bring some, uh, a couple of teardowns and get some stuff put away, and get some thing, things uh, fixed up and organized. <coughs> little by little, but it's coming along very fast now that the bulk of it is done. The rest of the floor is good over there, so I don't have to worry about that. Don't worry about that section of the floor over there, because I'm not going to be walking there. And... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to cut off one of those white barrels there tomorrow or next day. Sometime this week, it's not a rush. Cut it off right here. So when I drain uh, sealed units, I can drain them over that with a grate over it. So it won't get all over the shop. See, I've been paying attention to other scrapper videos. And I've seen the mess they've been making. And ones that don't make a mess. So I want to be one of the ones that don't make a mess. No comments. And I won't give a shout out to all the people that were making messes. Because they'll get very upset. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen. Fellow scrapologists, women, children of all ages, and men, of course. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good night. And God bless.